All right, boys and girls, we're gonna read a little Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. So we're gonna do our read alouds like this for a little bit, and hopefully we can get back to doing something different soon, okay? But for now, at least this way, you can see me, I can still read to you, and we can still enjoy our book, and we can finish it. So what I'll do is I will record a chapter at a time, okay? So chapter 30 is where we left off. Min Lee's feet pounded against the rocky ground, fighting the uneven earth as she climbed upward. It was difficult. The wind carved rocks and boulders seemed to grow from the ground like trees, confusing her way and disrupting her balance. Min Lee was so intent on her movement that she almost didn't notice a low growl. But she halted as soon as she heard it, the tiger. She could see the tip of its green tail ahead over one of the large misshapen rocks. Quickly, quietly, she grabbed a sharp looking stone from the ground and crept forward. There it was, in a clearing of flat stone, the evil animal was pacing back and forth as if it were waiting. Min Lee tightened her grip on the stone. She then grasped. A plump little girl dressed in a brilliant red was running toward the tiger. Before Min Lee could scream a warning, someone from behind her pulled her down and covered her mouth. Shh, the voice said, and Min Lee looked into her eyes of the small boy, who seemed to be the same age as the girl. Underneath a gray blanket he was using like a cap, she could see flashes of quilted red clothing that matched the girl's face. His face was round and pink, as if it were more used to laughing than the serious frown it wore now. She nodded at his panicked gestures to keep quiet. Oh, great green tiger! The little girl threw herself on the ground in a trembling kowtow before the beast. Powerful spirit of the magistrate, my worthless ancestors angered. My brother and I were sent to here to sacrifice you demanded. The tiger roared furiously and the girl cowered. I'm sorry, the girl said, her voice quivering. Now my brother and I were both sent to you, but on the way here, another monstrous beast attacked us. He took my brother and so there is only me now. The tiger made an outraged sound. Yes, another beast, the girl said. This is what happened. The story of the girl telling the green tiger. Your message to the family caused an uproar. That was great wailing and crying as an Aegon, our grandfather, told us that you demanded two children every month to be sacrificed to you. I was, it was payment for the insult our ancestors caused you, he said, and if we paid, you would leave the rest of the family in peace. It was a high price, but we knew, with your immense power and strength, we could not disobey. So my brother and I chose to be the first two children. As the family wept, my brother and I left our home to go to you. But as we made our way to meet you, an evil beast jumped from the rocks. He looked like you, only not as strong or as mighty, of course. And he was dark, the color of night, the color of a shadow. He roared at us, but as we trembled to the ground, I cried out, do not eat us, beast. We belong to the great green tiger. And the beast stopped his roar at my words. Green tiger, he growled. Yes, I said, we are sacrifices for the great green tiger. We are not for you. If you attack us, you will make the mighty green tiger angry and he will destroy you. Destroy me? Ha! The beast laughed. The great green tiger is an old weakling. No, my brother protested. The great green tiger is the most powerful beast of all. None can defy him. The beast laughed again. A paper pig is more mighty than the great green tiger. I will take you, but leave you the other one for him. Pathetic dog that he is. And with that, the girl said, he took my brother and dragged him into his cave. The girl burst into sobs as Min Lee stole a glance at the boy. The boy looked a bit sheepish, but again, put his finger to his lips for quiet. The tiger growled with impatience. As he disappeared, he said, the girl swallowed nervously at the green tiger's furious face. Tell the green tiger that his son, the king, left you out of pity, pity for his poor feeble father. With those words, the green tiger roared with such rage that even the stones seemed to shudder. Min Lee quaked and the boy held her arm even tighter. I can show you his den where he dragged my brother. The girl quivered. The tiger nodded at the girl with narrowed eyes seeing, seething with fury. Shaking, the girl got up and began to lead the tiger away from the clearing. Min Lee, with the boy beckoning, silently followed. <laughs> 